Hello and welcome back to Stardew Valley and we are on day 7 of spring if I'm not completely incorrect let's check the calendar just in case uh no summer 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 um <clears throat> yeah I haven't been playing this for a while so apologize if I'm a bit derpy and forgetful I was sick for basically all of Christmas and New Year um, and that meant that all my plans went kaboom and uh, there was absolutely no content whatsoever. Uh, now I'm actually back and I'm um, actually doing stuff so let's check the report the weather is oh it's going to be a storm okay uh fortune teller is saying that the spirits are very displeased today the queen of sauce is saying that we learned how to make a cop surprise okay during the time I was sick. Uh, Stardew Valley got an update and it was the 1.5 update and I have not checked exactly what that contained. I did a very quick look through the what do you call it o overview of what was part of the update and apparently there's um, a bunch of quality of life things that has uh, been changed so there should be a bit more things that makes it easier for us but we'll see if we encounter anything new. Well, we will do as good as we could possibly do. I think that's all in terms of eggs. We can open this up. There is absolutely nothing to eat out there, but that's fine. Let's talk to all of the animals. Uh, I think I wanted to... I think I wanted to buy pigs. And... Today should sort of be a day to do that. We should be able to do that. Um... Uh, <laughs> to be very careful um, especially with the pickaxe because it actually destroys crop uh, if you um, isn't careful uh, da -da -da -da. periwinkle shove you away And there we go. That should be all of that. We did upgrade this part quite a lot. So we can actually process all the produce we get. And... Let's go and see if we can buy a pig. Uh, but before we do that, let's see if we can get to this. A bit of copper. That's actually quite nice. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Replant. Like, the more trees we can get out here the better because 
Ooh, we don't have enough wood. We really don't have enough wood. Now, purchase animals. Pigs. They cost 16,000 each. However, they give you a lot of money in terms of truffles. Now, I think... I wonder if... I can't remember if I said, like, buy two pigs and then the rest in cows or goats. I can't remember. Or if I would just go... The, the, the thing is... Buying four pigs is 64,000. We could just do it because we will get a lot of money when the preserved jars and kegs are done. So, um, yeah, let's, let's just do it. Let's, we have the money. Let's invest. Uh, they can't go into the greenhouse. I don't understand why. Uh, Setsumo, okay. I don't really care. Um, Risley, sure. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. It costs so much to buy pigs. I can understand why, because... They are really, really profitable. <clears throat> like, extremely profitable. Uh, so, I, I understand why they uh, cost a lot of money. But, yeah, that, that, uh, we don't have that much left now. Now, uh, let's see what you have. An eel? Hmm small crystal yeah no, nothing really let's go and get the all the things in here oh oh my eye stinks uh, i is it when basically when new year's ooh, had passed and I had actually been uh, with my parents for New Year. And when I came back, <laughs> it dropped, uh, what was it, like 15 or 16 degrees outside. So basically from being around zero in temperature, it went down to something like <clears throat> mahogany seed. This can be planted to grow a mahogany tree. Ooh, I have to try that. Uh, but yeah, so, so basically it went from around zero to something like minus 15 degrees outside. Uh, in a matter of a day. Uh, so, yeah, I got just around my eyes. My, my skin is a bit um, uh, sensitive. So, yeah, I have um, some uh, dry skin and it really, really hurts at times. Thankfully, I had a cream for it, but it still doesn't make it less annoying. And uh, most likely, if it had gone from, say, uh, like the same amount of degrees, but it had taken like a few days instead of a day or less of a day, to get that low, I uh, probably would not have, not have noticed anything, but uh, yeah, here we are. Here 
Here we are. Uh, any more trees? No more trees? It's 2 p.m. So we should be getting back. Soonish. Uh, it's going to be a storm tomorrow, so the animals cannot be outside. Um, and we need to see if we have enough uh, lightning rods. I think we do, but it's always good to do the rounds and see if you actually have enough or not and uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. let's go check it the beach before we go back oh okay I think this is new Ah, hello there, TTG. You showed up at the perfect time. Hmm? It's our new special orders board. Robin and I built it from scratch. Wow. Um, Lewis, all you did was hold the nails. Ahem, ignore her. <laughs> no, let me explain. You see, with Tactical Farm backing business, the local economy has really been picking up. As a result, some of the local townsfolk have been asking me for a way to source local ingredients for their businesses or personal projects. So Robin and I came up with the idea of a new special orders board where people can post bigger jobs that would make sense for the old billboard outside piers. Oh. Yeah, for example, I plan on requesting some hardwood for a bed I want to make. I won't put you on the spot, but if you want to help me out, help me out. You can just accept the job from this board. Who knows, maybe if the bed turns out well, I'll start selling them in my shop. <laughs> uh, I don't know, we'll see. Or, I look forward to helping. Sure, I look forward to helping. <laughs> I thought so. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, TDG. Yeah, well, uh, while I have no absolutely no problem helping people, that kind of helping I usually don't do. But uh, yeah. So, can we say that you're on board? Oh, <laughs> oh, I approve that. that. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm sure you're busy, so we won't keep you away from your work any longer. As always, I appreciate your willingness to contribute. Take care, TTG. Yeah, you too, Lewis. And... Yeah, I think that's a new one. I think that is a new one. Um, I don't remember encountering that, so that has to be a new thing in 1.5. Apologize about my nose. Um, cave patrol. Um, the number of bats in the local caves have biome balance. Uh, I have to. Yeah, this is actually quite interesting. Choose one, so you can... I'm not sure what this means. If I have a day to pick it up, or if it's a day to complete. Because if it's a day to complete... I mean, let, let, let's just accept it and see what happens. Because, yeah, 
I mean, it's something new. Let's 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 test it. Uh, it's not really obvious, I would say, with uh, just the whole thing. I didn't go to the beach, whatever. Uh, it's not really that obvious when it comes to like telling you how much how much um, how much uh, Oh my god, my brain just doesn't work. Um, doesn't do a, uh, a good job of like being specific of what it's uh, things or what it mean like is and what it means. I would probably say that that is a bit of an oversight. And I would not be surprised if the develop the developer added in make that a bit more clarified like clarify a bit more on what that number is. If it's this is how long you have on you to actually complete it or if it's final day i think it is the number of days you have to complete it and that is kind of 50 bats in one day it's it's doable yes it's doable however i would not say it's i, I would rather have that be how long they stay up on the board since it's more or less a project because basically what 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 those are according to what has been um, explained in the cutscene uh, it's uh, pretty much just um <clears throat> Just, uh, uh, like the same kind of quest, but a bigger project, which means that it should, uh, it actually should be something that you have a bit more time on to complete. course if if that's not the what what he wants then yeah sure but uh, i would probably give a bit more time not too much but a bit more time because yeah having one day to slay 50 bats mm, that's a bit of a tall order in one day and that's even when you focus on it uh, basically do everything you need to do on the farm do the animals for example and start up uh, stuff and then you beeline wherever the quest needs you to go and then uh, do it and you spend the rest of the time until you finish it and yeah there's it's not necessarily going to uh, guarantee that you in one day can finish it 
but it's what it is. Um, you have to be a bit, um, what do you say? Understanding when something new is introduced that it's not necessarily 100% thought through. Now the game isn't in early access, but still, it's a new update. Sometimes, uh, I mean, sometimes you have a really good idea, but the implementation of it doesn't really go the way you want it to. So you have to do a bit of tweaks, but you can't really like get those tweaks until you have actually roll out the update and see to see how how it's received and how it how it actually works when playing and when other people play. But I would I would my first reaction is um, it might be hard to complete in one day. Depends on the quest, of course, but... Uh, just wasting a bit of time. I think we need a bit of stone. I think. I'm not sure. Might be wrong. I do know that we need wood. Wood is actually one of the few things we really, really need a lot of. Get any of those. Uh, bus stop. Let's go back. Might just, when the day is over, mute myself and go and take care of this nose because if I find it annoying, I can just imagine what you guys think about it. So, yeah, I will go and take care of that once we have gone to sleep. Let's very quickly take a peek around and see if there is anything I missed. We have, I think we have enough lightning rods. Uh, we have clothes to add for the animals, so that's done. Um, so, yeah, uh, I think we have done all that we can do for the time being. Uh, so let's sleep. Something happened. There we go. I will mute myself and uh, I will be back shortly once my nose is taken care of.
And here we are back. Thankfully, I don't need to go that far, but still, 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 still. Let's go on to the next day of day eight of summer year two. Getting closer and closer. Though it's going to take a while until we actually reach the end. Uh, what is the weather tomorrow? The, tomorrow is clear and sunny. Okay, that's good. Fortune teller today is good humor. It might be a cave day. Uh, I would probably... Yeah, it, that, uh, that quest from the board is gone. So... Oh my god. That is... That is... A short amount of time. It might be that was the first one. But, yeah. Oh! He has che... Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my god! Thank you! Thank you! Oh... Yeah, if... If you remember how it was before, uh, this is actually one of the quality of life updates things. Uh, the icon would be hidden behind each tree. The only one you would actually see was the one furthest down here. It was technically on top of everything. Uh, and yeah, what he has done is actually moved this icon on top of everything. I, I think what he's done is actually just bump it up to the highest layer so it's above everything. So you can actually see that there is something there to pick up. And that is like a quality of life thing that has been... I think that that has been a, a thing that has been uh, bugging a lot of people for a, a long time and there is actually uh, like there was more than one one time where you would I've seen a lot of uh, setups where no tree blocks another tree but that takes up a lot of space it uses up a lot of space and uh, I didn't really want to do that uh, because it doesn't really matter which way you you turn it it's still going to use up a lot of space like it doesn't matter if you do it uh, horizontally or you do it uh, Vertically, like, it's still going to use up a lot of space if you need to see all, all of them. So the trees, the no tree are obstructing another tree. And, the, and yeah, that, that takes up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of space. There we go, that should be all of them. Uh, yeah, that should be all of them. And since it r it's raining, uh, we don't really want them to be out and about. Did I miss any one of them? I don't think so. That's still something... You can't see um, if you have interacted with an animal or not. That's still something you can't see, which is a bit annoying, but uh, it's what it is. Let's not have the...
on the sword out in just in case we do something bad with it like swinging it uh, I don't think we have anything else to pick up now we're still quite early <coughs> so we don't have We don't have any thing. That um, let's see just while I do this, I need to con concentrate a bit. Uh, and I derailed and I don't remember what I was talking about. Whatever. Probably wasn't important. Probably. Hopefully. Let's show that away and let's go down here. Oh, that's done. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, strawberries. Um, let's shove all of the strawberries in there, like that. Um, I'm not sure what to go with next. Uh, I think I might go with even more cauliflowers because I think this is cauliflower. Yeah, pickled cauliflower. Uh, like, pickled cauliflower is so extremely profitable. Uh, especially when you have a lot of it. And we have basically not used any, um, like, any cauliflowers for two years, which is kind of impressive. And also good right now because, yeah, we can just fill up all the time like this and do a bit of extra waiting and in you go. Uh, I don't remember what we put in the kegs, but I think it was a fruit. So it's going to take something like three or four more days. Takes, I think it takes like three to four days for preserved jars and uh, depending on what you actually put into the kegs it can take anything from one day to a week or more whoops not what i was supposed to do um okay the sorting has been Yeah, the sorting has also been slightly changed, I can see. Probably to organize it a bit better, I would assume. Yeah, I would probably say it's to get things a bit more organized and have it look as if there is some structure to where they are and so on. Um, now, what should we do? I think what we should do is actually take all the common mushrooms and then I think just shove this away, which I don't need. And... However, we should take the cherry bombs with us. And 
And let's go and see if we can do some spelunking in Skull Cavern. We have a few trees we can cut down, which is good. And we have a few wiggly worms to pick up as well. There we go. Uh, let's pick you up. Trees are growing. That's good. Oh, there we go. Palm fossil. Okay, I have actually... Pick one of those up and turn it in before. Bit of clay, let's break this away from the pond. Otherwise we will lose all the juicy bits. And I can't see any more worms. Lost a bit of wood there, but got the majority of it. And uh, in we go. Let's see how we can do here. Okay, we have a way down, I think. What I want to do first is see if we can unearth some goodies, though we did not. Is there anything up here? Yeah, there's an enemy up here. There's two of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, the skull cavern is really, really dangerous. If you're not prepared for it, don't even try. Oh my god, they have so much HP. It's insane. But the slimes do have a lot of goodies on them, so... Taking care of them is actually really good, because they might have uh, uh, Iridium. And that is... That and diamonds are the two main things why you come here. Really. Let's go down. Oops. Let's take care of you. They do a lot more damage in here, so... Wicked Chris. I have to see what that kind of blade is. Oh. Uh, Wicked Chris is a... It's a dagger. It's a dagger. Daggers... If we take a look, it's kind of annoying because they are just straightforward. They they don't swing like a sword, and that's actually quite bad because a lot of enemies don't really make sense in a way that you need pinpoint accuracy while you can do a lot of damage uh, you're probably better off uh, you're probably better off trying to 
have a really high speed uh, sword. Uh, because, yeah. Probably what's going to save you. We need to eat. Can you please die? Thank you. We need energy as well, so it's not just the HP that's getting a bit bad or low. Uh, we could just go down and I think we will. No, 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 no. Not like that. Stun lock for the win. And the time, the time. Let's make sure we keep track of time. Okay. A resource. I think that's a new resource. I might be wrong, but... I think I'm right, but I'm not sure. Warp Totem Farm. Might be a good thing to use when we want to go back. Uh, let's go down. And yeah, you can see why I took the, the mushrooms. They heal quite well and like a decent amount. And they uh, do usually have a lot of them. Usually. What is that sound? a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see if we can. There's a lot of slimes and I really do want to. Ooh, a whole iridium bar. Wow. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready for that. Let's not stand that close. Not sure why that didn't burst into more, but whatever. Let's not get ambushed. Take care of the, the single one. And we got a radium. Or. Yeah, this has been a really, really good one. Oh my god, so much damage. Yeah, one Iridium bar, two Iridium more. This has actually been a really good... Ooh. Need to... We need to finish this. Oh, and we got a stairs down. Let's pick this up and boom. Ooh. Let's use this. Not for any other reason than I don't want to spend all the time mining. Same thing here. Oh, let's 
getting light. Let's uh, go up here and see if we can take all of the ore and goodies. And since we have the, t uh, the teleport, I'm actually going to use it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's use the, tele the farm teleport. Because it's late. Um, here we are. Uh, let's shove all the stuff away. Uh, yeah, seven. Oh, we can make two iridium bars. I think once I have 11 iridium ore, I will do that. But for the time being, I will just let it be. Um... Uh, Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what to do with the Iridium Bars if we just want to, say, want to upgrade to something like um, upgrade our tools or if we want to use it to make a slime hutch. I'm not sure. Like, the sli I've never really done the slime hatch, and I think that is because it's so late game, I never really get get to it. And at that point, I really start to lose interest, sort of. That doesn't really matter. Let's be careful, we need to be very, very careful so we don't pick up any of the flowers. Poppy and... I don't remember if you can use the cactus fruit or stuff or such into anything else. Uh, okay, let's see. The prehistoric vertebra we can sell. I... Thing. Let, let's um, the bone fragment I have no idea what you can use for the palm fossil we know we have let's put this Oh, I want to put it in here, but I can't do that. I want to put it in the last slot, but okay, whatever. Um, I need to, uh, at some point when I actually go and... Uh, When I go and check the museum or the library, I need to check to see if I have actually put one of those in. I think I have, but I don't remember exactly if I have. I have a vague memory <coughs> of putting one of them in. Oh my god, dog, please move, move. Oh my god. Oh, just like a real dog. <laughs> oh, just like a real dog. Being in the way all the time especially when you don't want them to be or need or you really need them to not be <sighs> okay let's sleep yeah that's a good chunk of money back from um our spend spending not it's not completely it's not 
halfway, we would have needed something like two and a half thousand more ish to pay off half of the pigs. Uh, so two of them. Since they cost 16,000 each to buy, uh, but I, I would say, I, I would, I would probably say that once the kegs are done and the, uh, the rest of the, the next batch of the pickled cauliflowers are done, we most likely have the pigs paid off. And um, we should, at that point, be back to where we was, um, sort of. However, we are going to end the episode here and uh, swiftly do the next one. So, for now, thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.